Alright, what's up everyone and welcome to another episode of Bomb Diggity Arcade. And actually this is going to be kind of a follow-up video to something we uh, started working on and uh, I never did shoot anything else for it. And if you can tell by the sounds, um, and you can also look right here, right beside me, you can see uh, Kix. Uh, Kix is actually up and running. And uh, it actually cleaned up pretty nice. Uh, it's working fairly well. And I have to say, uh, it was a little bit of a cheat to get it working. Uh, if you remember, we were gonna go ahead and put the 60 on one board in it. We had that JAMA adapter that we had gotten from Arcade Shop. And uh, we just couldn't ever get it to work. We couldn't get the video to sync or anything like that. Well, my brother uh, actually uh, went and got the J-Rock board. Um, that was the board that we really, really wanted. It was like uh, 200 and something dollars. It's a little pricey, but uh, we went ahead and uh, installed that in and we actually got a picture on it. The monitor looks fantastic. We went ahead and cleaned up the game. And uh, I just wanted to show you a little bit and uh, just kind of show you just how Kix looks now. And it actually looks pretty, pretty good. So uh, let's go ahead and readjust the camera and then we'll go ahead and take a little bit closer look at Kix. Okay, so I had to change uh, cameras real quick because uh, this other camera just wasn't cutting it. Um, the lens on it is just, uh, it, it's, it's just too big and it's not shooting, it's not shooting wide enough. So uh, I went and got my little Osmo Action, my trusty little uh, Osmo Action for getting into uh, really tight uh, nooks and crannies. And I had to turn, uh, I had to turn Gyrus off because it was just way too loud. Um, just couldn't really hear anything with it going on. But uh, anyways, back to uh, this game. Um, I got this actually really, really cheap and I got it, oh man, I've had it now, which seems like, I guess like maybe like three years and, uh, I got it. It was decent condition and it just sat and it ended up getting like, uh, just really dusty and all that. Cause I could never get it to work, but, uh, I went ahead and kind of cleaned it up. Uh, it doesn't look too bad overall. Probably could go ahead and, uh, possibly change the buttons. They look a little little like uh they're like kind of cracking or something like that i don't really know what they're doing but um i also have to change the lock because uh i was kind of working the door on the back and i broke the key and i think i broke it in the lock but so uh but overall it's not too bad it does have a little bit of uh like flaking uh here and there so you can kind of see some of the some of the flaking it's not too bad it has these like little incandescent bulbs and there's a whole bunch of them right so it's not like a big fluorescent it's a bunch of little incandescent so i went ahead and um i tried to seal the back so that way uh, it doesn't burn or crack anymore and the same thing here with the the bezel here i went ahead and sprayed it and tried to seal it so that way it doesn't um whoops I accidentally started a game but i went ahead and sealed it so that way it doesn't um flake and crack anymore but uh Anyways, this is actually Kicks, and the cool thing about it is I'm actually gonna, there's a player one and player two here, so I'm gonna actually hold those buttons. And when you hold those buttons, uh, it's running the Zoo Cube board, and actually let me, uh, let me kill this light real quick so maybe you can see it a little bit better. But yeah, it's running the Zoo Cube board, and the monitor in it, it's a G07, and it's actually fantastic. Once I took this whole thing apart and, uh, FYI guys, uh, if you ever need to take one of these apart, the bezel goes through the back. It doesn't come through the front. Um, so like, uh, you know, your Miss Pac-Mans, you're like your midways and stuff. And actually a lot of games, I mean, all the glass kind of tends to go through the front. Um, but this one, uh, the glass actually goes through the rear. And there's like a retaining bracket on the front and on the back. And that'll help you kind of slide it out. And then it also has... Um, those retaining brackets, but it also has a bezel, like one of those uh, plastic bezels here that you have to also pull out. And then once you pull all that out, you can go in there and really kind of clean up the monitor. And that's actually what this game needed. It needed the monitor cleaned on the inside and then um, it needed the bezel cleaned up. And then I went ahead and sprayed it and just kind of cleaned it up on both sides. And the other cool thing about this game is actually right here, these directions. So if I turn the light off, they're actually backlit, which is kind of cool. So um, that's a kind of a neat touch. I like that. But anyways, going back to this uh, this uh, Zoo Cube board here, and I'm going to see if I can just kind of hold this kind of steady here. 
But uh, let's see. So uh, let's go to setup. And through here, you can go through your system settings and it'll tell you what you want the game to boot to. So you can actually boot to like a, a, a specific game if you want. Uh, how long uh, the one player and two player timer. So if you press the one player and two player, uh, it, you know, it'll jump back to the menu. So it's, it's kind of like how long you want to press that. So I'm actually changing what it's booting to. So I'm gonna tell it boot to menu. So the buttons are in the front and I just keep accidentally tapping them. So start buttons, uh, screen saver. So after so much time, if you leave it, it'll actually just start drawing like these lines on the screen, kind of like, a, kind of reminds me of kicks, the way it's drawing the lines. Uh, flip vertical, rotate mode. So uh, something that's kind of interesting is that it is playing um, horizontal games as well. So it's playing like Zookeeper. And Zookeeper is actually a title game, but it's a horizontal monitor. It's not a vertical monitor. So uh, you can actually tell it to play uh, on this monitor, which is pretty cool. Uh, Kix 460 Hertz is on because Kix is actually not running at the right. Um, uh, I shouldn't say it's not running at the right, but it's just running at a different uh, refresh rate. And as a result, your sync can go out. And it, it can really screw with thing as, as far as like, you know, the image flipping and whatnot. So if you, if you turn the kicks 460 Hertz on, then it'll keep it from, uh, it'll keep that from, from happening. Uh, VGA scan lines, uh, setup on boot, uh, reset settings and exit. So let's, uh, let's get out of there. And uh, through here, you can actually load game ROMs, which uh, I have all of them loaded uh, with the exception of Space Dungeon. So, uh, let me see. Here it is, Game Enable. So yeah, all of them are on except for Space Dungeon. And the reason why is Space Dungeon um, is, is it, its control panel is different. So you can't really play it with the setup that I have here on Kicks. So as a result, it's just kind of turned off. So it, it just doesn't make sense to have it, right? Like it doesn't make sense to have it on. So you can do a switch test, you can do a display test, you can do a system update, it's all pretty cool. And the board that's actually running back there is super tiny. So the kicks board is probably as, I mean, it's bigger than this monitor. So let me see if I can kind of put my hand up here. So there's my hand, that's a 19 inch monitor. And the kicks board is, is probably like from up here, the top all the way to the bottom. It's kind of like the whole back door because it's actually multiple boards. It's not just one board. And then the ZooQ board is, is actually uh, maybe a little, like, a little bit bigger than my hand. And that's how big the ZooQ board and the ZooQ is actually running uh, all these different games, which is kind of cool. But uh, so let me go ahead and get uh, the camera back on a tripod. And I might actually just shoot it uh, with the other camera. And then we can kind of play kicks and, uh, you know, play Zookeeper. And uh, I'm going to also talk a little bit about the TPG uh, because it was actually a question on the last video as far as like, how do you hook up the TPG? Because um, I, th I think it was on the, the kicks uh, repair that uh, we were trying to see the monitor and see if it was working, which I believe it was. It was just really dirty at the time. So uh, let me get the camera on the tripod. We'll go and look at kicks and we'll kind of play that. And uh, just as far as the controls, just to kind of show you, there's two buttons. There's a fast draw and there's a slow draw. So when you're playing it, uh, you, you, you have to basically make uh, shapes and you have to fill it in. And you're gonna have this like line that's like kind of like bouncing around, right? And um, basically the, the, the line, the kicks, right, is, is trying to get you. So if you get hit by it before you, you, uh, you close your shape, then you, you, you lose, right? You, you die, but you have to get so much of a percentage of the area, um, you know, cleared off in order to go ahead and, you know, go to the next level. And there's these little sparks that are also coming around and they'll try to get you. But the thing about the, the fast draw and the slow draws is basically with the fast draw, uh, you can actually draw your shapes faster, but you don't get as many points. So you can do a slow draw and, you know, it'll take longer to draw your shape, but you'll get more points. So it's just kind of like what you want to do as far as, uh, you know, your whole risk reward type thing. 
But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and play Kicks and uh, let's see if we can uh, just kind of look a little bit as far as what we were talking about. Okay, went ahead and launched Kicks here. So it'll say here's the Kicks, uh, here's the Fuse. So the Fuse happens basically when you sit idle, right? And it's showing that you have nowhere to go, right? Because, right, you didn't ever complete your shape. But uh, here we go, let's go ahead and start a game. And actually, to be honest with you, I haven't been um, playing this game as much as I probably should. But you can kind of see how we're drawing shapes here. There we go. And so we're just kind of drawing a, a fast shape. Oh, you got me. So that spark was gonna gonna get me there. So I got I got kind of stuck. Oh, spark got me again. So I only need 1%. And then it'll take me to the next. So you can see here at the top, it'll tell you how much you've claimed and how much you need. And the kicks came at me quick. Okay, so that's quick game over. I actually got pretty decent at this game. But I, again, I haven't played in a while. Let me go ahead and see if I can get a chair here. How's the weather been? I know the weather here has been weird. It has been hit and miss. I mean, it has cooled down and then it's gotten super hot. Okay, so let's go ahead and do this. So that's the, the little fuse. There we go. Dang, bounced pretty quick. So right now we're at 60 and we need 75. Ooh, that's just bad timing. You can try to get a little bit better at this. So we're at 72. Man, did we die again? Man, we didn't even clear the stage. All right, let's keep playing. <laughs> Getting warmed up. So I know like, um, there's some like different techniques. So there's like a tree branch method. There's all these different like little methods to, to kind of trap the kicks in. There we go. 75, so I mean, you, you really want to get um, some, some, ooh, that's not good. I feel like I can't play at the same time. <laughs> play and talk. I had, a, I had a hard time with that when I was doing game of the day. Like every time I was trying to talk, it was just, I was having a hard time. So the kicks gets a little bit more aggressive here. Man, all that area over there, and he's like messing around with me. Okay. Let's try this again. Oh, almost got it completed. Man, and I'm actually using the fast draw. I'm not even using the slow draw. Okay, let's see. Let's see if we can... Uh... Let's see if we can kind of use this method to kind of kind of trap him here. There we go. So since I got above the 75%, it counts how much percentage above I got, and then it gives you a bonus based off of that.
Oh man, I, I didn't even click that the spark was there. So we're just gonna kinda slowly work at this guy. So we can kind of... Oh, he got me. Did we game over again? Ah, we did a little bit better this time. All right, let's try... Let's try one more time. We haven't even uh, reached the high scores yet. I was getting stuck with that spark. That's not good at all. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, that was like terrible. I remember actually um, playing this on the 60 and one. And I actually remember being actually halfway decent at this game. I am just like way out of practice. Okay, I think I need to get away from this guy. Okay, so we want to really trap them in there, but man, we're so close. Need him to kind of go away there. There we go. So that one we got a 90%, so we got 1500 bonus, so that's good. Our goal is to actually try to make it on the, on the high score charts. A mess here. Ugh. Super made a mess there. So we did pretty good on that one though, but we still haven't hit, um, you know, a record yet. It's like the key is like making these like little branches. Oh, we were kind of stuck there. Let's see, come on, guy. Kind of get out of there. Okay, I need to kind of get away from this guy. All right, get back in there. Come on. Come on, get away. Oh, got us. Hey, we 
getting close to being able to put our score in. Oh yeah, I forgot. It actually splits into two. Totally forgot about this. So close. We were less than a thousand points off. Okay, I don't think that's the way to go. Okay, it seems like he's going to the right, but now he's going to the left here. Ooh, that was a close one. Okay, so we need to kind of trap him in there. There we go. Now he's kind of trapped. go. Oh, I thought we closed it. Missed it just by a little bit. Man, it would be nice if you get trapped in here. Okay, so now he's kind of like toying with the idea of being trapped over here. Come on. Ugh, so close. Great. Man. Ugh. Only we could have got him there. Would have been perfect. Hello. What's going on? Oh, because we didn't actually... Dang it. I didn't see that we didn't close that over there. I was wondering what was going on. stuck. Mm. I'm not satisfied that we are not at least breaking into the bottom of the scoreboard here.
Ah, oh, no, don't get out. <laughs> okay, let's see. Oh, dang it. Okay, let's see. What do you think of this game? This game is trippy, right? The music. Let's see if we can create a little trap here for him. Hey, he's in there. Oh, we need to keep him in there. And of course he got out. Come on, come back out. There we go. Ah, oh, we're so close. We just need to beat this stage. Ooh, they're all right here. Oh, we didn't close it. This is our last. This is our last life. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I did that. We were so close. This video is gonna end up being like forever. Come on guy, fall in here. Which one do you want to go to? <laughs> there we go. So close. I remember I was getting more uh, riskier uh, using. Oh shoot! Oh come on, go in there, go in there, go in there. Oh. I just need you to go in there. All I needed was him to go in there. Not gonna happen. Oh. Can we get him? Got him. Gotta make these like little steps. Is this the one with the double? Yep, sure is. Dang it. This is where we fall apart. Okay. Oh, okay. Now I see the lives. The lives are up here. You get three. Three lives. Oh, the spark was there. Damn it. Should have like waited like a little bit longer. I am royally sucking at this game.
So the battery ended up dying, so we didn't even get to see me actually score 30,000. But I actually scored 30,732 points, which was just 732 points to get us on the leaderboard. So uh, it took me a while. I don't know when the camera died, but we were actually able to, to get up there. And I want to say, um, I want to say it keeps your score. Let's see. I don't know. Yeah, it's still there. Cool. There's another score up there, 195,000. I wonder if that was like my brother or something. I got to check that. That's a crazy score. Uh, the other game I've never played, though, is I've never played Kicks 2. I've, all, I've only ever played uh, Kicks 1. I was just going to launch it and just take a look at it and see what's different. Looks the same so far. Scores. See, fast score and slow score. So you score the, double the amount with a slow score. Oh, that's what it was. So that's what I used to do. But now I know the trick. I used to do a fast draw, and then right when I would like enclose it, I would do a slow draw, and then you would get more points, I think, is what it was. And Kicks 2 looks a lot like Kicks 1. Like even the attract screen is the same. What is the difference between these two? I'm gonna have to look that up. But um, let's go ahead and play uh, Zookeeper. So Zookeeper, I wanted to play this one because it's a little, it's a little interesting. Man, I need to kind of like, like kind of clean the glass here but uh zookeeper uh very interesting in the sense that it, it's it's you know a very popular game first of all but then also uh it's actually a horizontal game so uh it's like resized or whatever so that way you can play it on a vertical screen so it does some kind of like uh resized stretching or something like that but it actually uh plays fairly well so let's go ahead and play and this game i'm not very good at and it's a very hectic game but what you want to do is you want to try to get uh jumps and you want to combine these animals for the jumps i love these games these are in the sense that you know people get the arcade one-ups and stuff but this is like games that will never actually be probably ever on the arcade one-ups so you want to go ahead and get the net oh shoot i missed the net so that's a little net that pops up so these little beers they're like bonus points and then what you want to do is, oh, I'm not going to make it. Oh, there we go. So you want to get the net and you want to get the animals back in. So that way when the level ends, you get bonus points for everyone that, every one of the animals that's in the cage. Hence the term zookeeper. But you can also jump over them, uh, the animals here, and you'll get more points for, uh, more animals that you're, you're actually able to jump over. Oh, I miss, I totally missed that. I don't even know what I'm doing right now. It's that whole thing where I can't play and talk. So like little bonuses. There's our net. There we go. So right now, it's, it's the end of the level. We can't really get a jump, so we want to kind of just throw them back in. And then it has like a little bonus level. And what you want to do is you want to go up and you want to try to get these, uh, the fruit, and then you want to go up and, you know, rescue the girl, right? And that's what you do in all the games. Oh, shoot. Did you see that? I went right through the guy. I think it was like a weird glitch at the last minute. Okay, so we're not doing very good at all. In a sense, we're not really doing anything. There we go. At least we got a 15,000 point jump at the end. And then as you, uh, as you go through the game, it's like it gets progressively, um, dang, it gets progressively faster. Let's play again. So my high score is 268. What did we get, 50,000? So it's like way off. It's funny because uh, the further in the game you get, like when you start getting more objects on the screen, um, 
The game will actually slow down. I always miss this net. Got it. All right, let's see if we can get that beer. There we go. There, we didn't die on that level. Which you should never die on the first level. Okay. So we didn't get hardly any bonus because everything was still out. All right, let's just get through this real quick. Oh, got kind of stuck there. There we go. Shouldn't have died on that level either. time with these corners. It's like rounding about the corners. All right, come on. Let's try to do something here. All right. The other trick is you, you want to get them running the same way. Because then it makes it a little easier to jump them. There we go. It has a very like floaty jump. Oh, missed it. Anyways, that's Zookeeper. Pretty cool game. Let me go back. To the beginning there and then uh there's one last thing i just wanted to show you and um let me grab it real quick okay so uh in the last video i got a question actually about uh this little device which is uh, i'm trying to get it into frame but uh this is the tpg and let me see if i can i need to get that screen to flip but i can't get it to flip well anyways this is uh the tpg here and it's a test pattern uh generator and uh, basically what it is, is it's really helpful as far as um, testing monitors and uh, just seeing if they work. Uh, and it's actually, it's actually pretty simple. And uh, it has a little dip switch, um, um, like I guess like, what is it? Um, it's almost like what's in the manual, but it just kind of tells you like uh, what the dip switches need to be. And it tells you like what um, everything is as far as let me see if I can show you. As far as the connectors here, let me see, I don't know if I have enough light. I'm gonna crank up the light a little bit. Ah, that's better, isn't it? Yeah, it seems like way better. Okay, so uh, as far as, there we go. Sorry, I'm trying to look at the, the camera. But it tells you here what, uh, what it needs to be as far as your plugs and whatnot. So you have RGB, you have ground, you have, um, vertical sync and you have horizontal sync and you can see the cable that I have here I actually bought this uh, TPG used and um, as a result the cable that came with it I, I was just kind of using that I think I repinned it real quick um, on the fly but I actually need to uh, change the connector here to actually make it work properly but I had pinned it just for the project that I was using which is for uh, a Geo 7 but you should be able to use this for, you know, your, your, your well gardener 7000s and stuff, you know, everything like that. But um, it's just the same on the other side. So it's the RGB ground. And then I have my sinks actually on that extra little breakout, um, breakout piece over here. And all it is, is you just plug this into your, to your TPG. And then you just plug the other end into your monitor, right? So, uh, 
on a G07, right? It has like two, it has like two connectors that are like, that are like kind of like stacked on top of each other. So you just plug those in and then you can tell it through your dip switch settings, um, whether or not you want it to be an inverted video signal, uh, whether um, you want it to uh, have the vertical sync off and then your horizontal sync. So depending on which way you flip these dips. And it also allows you to um, do standard resolution and medium res. So right now it's actually flipped on medium res because the last um, monitor that I was uh, checking was a medium res monitor that uh, I was really trying to dial in. And when you hit the menu, um, it'll actually uh, go through some like different patterns and whatnot. So it has like a, a color test pattern, it has like checkerboard, so that way you could uh, check your geometry and whatnot. But uh, it's pretty cool. Um, I, would op I would pull the game out, but it's actually kind of, it's a little bit late. But if you want me to go through uh, a little bit more in detail as far as like how to use this, uh, I, I don't mind going through it and uh, you know getting it all hooked up. But then it also has this little button here and you just, if I remember correctly, you just click the button and then that kind of gets you through the different test patterns and whatnot. And then you just have your power button on and off. And when you flip it on, um, I thought it had an LED. Maybe it does. Yeah, it should have an LED right there, I think. So maybe the batteries, oh, there it is. There goes the, there goes the LED. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, you can see it. It's a little green LED. It kind of got, got me worried for a second. I was like, maybe the batteries are dead. Oh yeah, see, it just went, actually it didn't come on. Okay, so yeah, maybe the batteries are a little low. And then the batteries are just, you know, standard, nothing, I can't even, uh, just a nine volt, nothing crazy. So yeah, it's it's definitely um, a cool tool to have um, as far as uh, being able to test uh, monitors and getting them kind of just dialed in right. So I actually use this TPG actually on the Zookeeper monitor and the Zookeeper monitor actually looks really, really great. And again, it just allows you to check for colors. So like if for, for instance, your color, your color looks off, it'll throw an RGB signal through it and you can then, you know, kind of determine like, hey, it's something wrong with the monitor and it's not the, it's not the PCB because you can have uh, issues with the PCB, right? Where it's not kicking out uh, color, right? Because, you know, you may have a cold solder joint or, you know, there's just a bad connection somewhere and it just kind of eliminates um, any of that guesswork. And if you, this is giving a perfect video feed, then you now know, okay, like, hey, the monitor's not working. I, like, for instance, my brother has a San Francisco Rush, and we were trying to dial in um, the, the red on it, and we couldn't get the red. So I ended up hooking up the TPG, and then we come to find out that, yeah, red, red's missing. So it's either, uh, it's going to end up being like a, a transistor, or uh, uh, what do you call it, uh, like the gun, or it's going to be something like that. Or, you know, it could be a, a cold solder joint or something like that. But um, the San Francisco rushes, I've read a lot that they have uh, bad guns. So it could be something like that, which in, in case this will kind of help us narrow that down. But yeah, it's, it's a pretty cool little device. Uh, I want to say it's like $80. Uh, again, I bought mine used on Clove and uh, I've used it quite a few times. Uh, actually, there's been a few times where I forgot I had it. And uh, I was like, you know what, if there was only a way for me to you know, test a monitor signal. And then I was like, oh wait, I have the TPG. So um, yeah, definitely pretty cool. Like if you really, really want me to go through this and kind of go into detail and maybe just kind of show you some of the test patterns, uh, I can definitely like maybe on the weekend try to get this hooked up to, uh, I can, you know, I can hook it up to kicks here and uh, you know, just kind of run through like some of the stuff that it, that it does and whatnot. Um, but uh, yeah, so that's the TPG and that is actually gonna be kicks as well. So let me go ahead and just go ahead and push that up. And that is, and that's kicks. Oh yeah, and then I don't know if you ever saw, got Dig Dug over here too. But yeah, that's, that's kicks. Kicks is working, which is pretty cool. I'm super excited. 
Um, <laughs> it's kind of funny because it seems like the game that we've been playing the most is actually Zookeeper. But yeah, I definitely want to check out that Kicks 2. And um, this Cram game, that one's pretty cool too. I haven't got into these other two yet. But I'm actually really interested in that game. That game, like, I don't know, is just kind of cutesy. And it just kind of, it just kind of like, I don't know, I, I liked it. And I don't even know if I'm playing it right. I mean, I'm assuming that you have to, like, um, you know, like, block. I like that, USA. I'm assuming you have to, oh, it, you know, it did say the, it did, it did say the directions, right? A lot of times I just like start playing these games and I don't even necessarily read the directions. Like it has all these directions here along the side. I don't even read them. And that's probably why I'm terrible at these games. So let's see. It says you control Cram. I think that's how you say it. Cram, right? Let's see. Okay, so you control them. Yeah, I get that much. Cram targets to score points. Right, okay, avoid deadly skulls. And you can like block them in, like you have a button. You have like two buttons, like one is to, yeah, so see, you can put a wall. But then you can also like tear down the wall. Yeah, see, bust out and destroy walls. Right, and then there's these other guys that just eat through the walls. Right, okay, so I guess I'm not really missing much. Yeah, so I don't know, that game like seems kind of I don't know, that little character guy seems kind of cool. I don't know, it's pretty deep. It's been a long day. I've been um, doing that Adobe conference and it's like long, long days. And as a matter of fact, there's still sessions going on and it's already like, oh, it's already almost nine o'clock. So um, yeah, it's, it's definitely, it's like, a, like 11 to 11 o'clock. It's like 12 hour days. But, uh, yeah, I haven't even been getting, like, really, like, lunches lately, so I've been, like, kind of working my way through lunches. Ah, this game looks kind of cool, too. These are all games that I never really played, so it's kind of kind of interesting. Another uh, title game I would love to get would be, like, an Alpine Ski. I have an Alpine Ski on, like, a multi-game, and that game's pretty fun. I don't know, I, I like that game. It's pretty cool. Those little bouncing balls are kind of cool. I don't know. So anyways, that's the Taito cabinet. It is done. It is, um, you know, it's it's working. It looks, it looks pretty good. It's working fairly well. And we're going to leave that at, at that. Uh, it, it looks and it sounds great. So uh, this monitor is a Geo7. And, and again, it, it's probably one of the better looking monitors that I have. Uh, compared to, I have a 4600 in this Dig Dug. Uh, cabaret and the and the Dig Dug Cabaret, the, the monitor is a little soft. And I've tried adjusting it, and um, you know it it has some issues. I'm, I'm not a huge fan of the 4600, but um, yeah. So I don't know. I, I got to address that eventually. The good thing is though, those uh, cabinets use 19 inch monitors, which are pretty easy to find. So uh, might be able to get something swapped in there. It's a little bit better. But uh, yeah. So again, kicks Taito. TPG, um, you know, if you have any other questions, and sorry I didn't really go through uh, getting that little board uh, actually hooked up. I was just super excited to get this project done because I got this one done, and um, again, I was working on the on the dartboard. Whoops, accidentally hit Galaga. <laughs> but uh, I was working on the dartboard because it, it had fallen, and I got the wood put back together, and... Uh, I noticed that the power supply, the power supply is kind of acting a little goofy and um, uh, it's not putting out 5 volts so I think I need to get a rebuild kit and then also the flyback on my Neo Geo uh, is just not, not cooperating it's kind of like arcing somewhere so uh, I need to replace the flyback on the Neo Geo and then I still need to work on Space Duel. Space Duel is still acting up. And then I now have a, a smoking smell coming out of House of the Dead. And I took it all apart yesterday. And uh, I narrowed it down to the monitor. So it's something in the monitor that's kind of smoking. Uh, monitor is still working, but uh, something's smoking. So that's not good. So I haven't turned it on until I can really get in there and try to figure out what it is. But anyways, that's going to do it for this episode of Mom Diggity Arcade. And uh, we had like four games go down, but we got one game up. <laughs> 
And then also the Silver Strike was down, but um, I actually got the Silver Strike back up and running again, which is which is good. So um, yeah, it seems like uh, when you have a when you get a game going or you get a couple games going, then you you have like three or four go down. It's just it's the way it's the way it goes, right? All right, so I will talk to y'all later. Um, I'm definitely gonna enjoy playing some games this weekend. Don't know if I'm gonna work on too much stuff, but uh, until then, I will see you on the next episode.